Symbols have been around for thousands of years. Ranging from Egyptian hieroglyphics to company logos, symbols have expanded quickly. There are countries all over the world that share the same symbols. It's as if symbols consist of a universal language that everyone can understand. A symbol is something such as an object, picture, written word, or sound that represents something else by association or resemblance. For example, when you're driving on the road and you see this, what are you supposed to do? That's right, stop. I'm here to talk to you about symbolism in film. Symbolism in film is very similar to that of the arts, only film has a much broader range. It's the artistic method of revealing ideas or truths through the use of the story, color, sounds, objects, and effects. Let's break it down. Storylines, when it comes to symbolism, has a wide range of categories. Whether it's the characters we fall for or the wonderful locations used in the film, some movies go in-depth to express meaning. Just look at the movie The Matrix. It's about a character named Thomas A. Anderson who is living a double life. One working for a highly respectful software company, and two, a hacker under the alias Neo. The Matrix follows the progression of Neo going from regular guy to being exposed to the real world. A series of unusual events brings him into contact with a group of people led by Morpheus. Morpheus feels Neo is the chosen one, the one who will set everyone free from the Matrix. Let's take a look at the main character Neo Anderson. If we took his nickname Neo and performed a little anagram on it, we would get the word one, meaning the chosen one. Neo also means new in Greek. Anderson, ander, meaning man, and son, which is son. Jumble these words and you get new son of man. In classic mythology, Morpheus was the god of dreams. In the Matrix, Morpheus constantly talks about dreams. Zion, the place that is home to those living in the real world, is based off of Mount Zion, which is located in Jerusalem. Knowing all of this information, we can piece together that the Matrix is based off of the Bible. Neo representing the Chosen One who will save all the people of Zion. Let's take a look at color. Color plays a huge role when it comes to movies, whether it's what the characters wear or the look of the film. Look at superheroes. The costumes that they wear symbolize their true meaning. Batman wears a dark suit to symbolize a bat. Captain America and Spider-Man wear red, white, and blue to represent true American heroes. Then there is this guy, dressed in all black to represent being evil and provoke fear into his enemies. Look at his weapon, red color symbolizing evil, while his enemy, who fights for all that is good, wields a blue or bright color lightsaber. Color truly gives meaning to a film. Everyone who watches an action movie has to watch it at a loud volume. That's the best way of experiencing the movie. When it comes to sound, the audience can be easily persuaded or manipulated if the right sounds are used. When you're watching a movie and you hear wind, 9 out of 10 times something bad is going to happen. It's an old Hollywood trick. Music often defines a scene. What happens if we took out this scary music and put in this music? It changes the whole feeling of the scene. Objects symbolize a reoccurrence of an event in a movie. For example, the Godfather series. Every time an orange is in a scene, someone dies or death is being talked about. The objects foreshadow something in the future. Look at the movie The Sixth Sense. Objects that are in red, like this doorknob, the character's sweater, or this red balloon, foreshadow something scary is about to happen. Objects are tough to spot, but once you do, you easily pick up on the symbolism. Simple effects like black and white symbolize events that happened in the past. It also represents old. When you switch the color, that gives a vibrant new feeling. Take a look at the simple cross dissolve. A cross dissolve is when the film cross cuts between two shots. This represents a passage of time. What happens if we took out the cross dissolves? The symbolism of a passage of time is no longer there without this effect. 
Hopefully now you understand that there is a wide range of categories that filmmakers use to express meaning. Symbolism in film may be tough to pick up on at first, but once you do, you'll be looking at movies in a whole new way.